Sani Bonani Ikamalami Usaneli Siwe Lerato Mshofu, originally from Durban in South Africa, Emulazi. Welcome to Our Neighbors Through Cuisine. The three things that I know for sure that connect us is food, community, and music. So my next guest from Botswana, a fellow a fellow friend, a dear, dear friend that I love with my whole entire heart. It's Unale Di Piri. She's going to correct me because I always think that it's like Piri with just an I at the end, but it's actually I-E. So, Miss Nale <laughs> Hey! so excited to have you here today and what are we going to be cooking today just share the the meal that you, you're gonna you're going to be teaching me today okay um today we're gonna be cooking but mm -hmm. which we call palichi can you say it parish pa what parishi with the pali chi no <laughs> you can't say re palichi parish li chi pali Chi. Yes, yes, palichi. Palichi. So we're mm -hmm. gonna be making palichi. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be making sesua. Sesua. No, sesua. Sesua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be making what else? Spinach. Ooh. Right. And why did you choose that particular like menu? So I have to think about something that's unique to my Mozilla. country, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought about funerals back home mm -hmm. weddings back home yeah so during weddings and funerals people are in large groups right yeah it's very different from here very you don't get very. invited to a wedding everybody comes to the wedding exactly. a cow is a cow is being killed everybody's eating mm -hmm. so community the, yes Community. That aspect right there. Community. Yeah. The whole community will come either to a funeral, wedding, birthday party. It does not matter. Exactly. Yeah. I could say because you put the meat in the pot, put water. If we have a pressure cooker, put a pressure cooker. Yeah. Seal it up. Make sure that the meat is very tender. Okay. Pound it. Mm-hmm. After pounding it, that's it. You just season it and that's it. Right? Then turn it on. Right? Mm -hmm. What heat? Um, six. It needs to be really hot. Okay. Right. And then we have our oil. Right? Yep. How much oil? Tell uh, me when to stop. Okay. I haven't said stop though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, some more? <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay, I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. So, okay, um, what do I add first? The meat. That's the idea. Not the... Uh, the idea is to add, eat, add the meat because we're trying to... Um, um, now you can reduce the heat because do you see this happening? Okay. To what? Three, four, two... Three is okay. Okay. And then so, put the meat in. Oh my. Oh. Okay. Did you pound the meat? Is this like the a meal that you will make at home? With your um, mom? not really. Mm -hmm. The reason why I chose this meal is because I know that it's made during like funerals. It's made during <laughs> weddings. Yes. But you find it mostly at funerals. So oh. the only thing is the, I think the main reason why they do it is it's, it's very easy so what you do you just put the the meat in the pot put water uh -huh, so put you salt yes. yeah you put salt in it and then you, you leave it, it and then when you come back for it you pound it hmm. and then like people a, eat so it has to be super soft so you can be able to do this yes. the only reason why it's happening this way it's because we put it in a pressure cooker so yep it is uh, happening for us okay what else am i am i adding something now or i'm just I keep on 
Italian. <laughs> so we're adding, we're gonna be adding vegetables, right? We're gonna be yeah. adding vegetables to it. Mm -hmm. But usually people don't add vegetables. It's just oil and then the seasoning, and then people have it just like that. So, so if you're making it for the house so that you can eat it with whatever you're eating, yeah. you usually like add the onions. Green mm -hmm. peppers, whatever peppers that you're adding, just for the taste of it. Yeah. But usually how it's made is just with oil and salt. And, and so you're doing it at home, you you're going to want it. Yes, you're going to be creative into the meal. So this is not really <laughs> how it is, but we're being creative just so that we can do it the way we would like to eat it. Okay. So you can literally make it in. So this is like, what is it? Like pulled beef, basically. No, pounded. Pound, okay. Yeah, it's pounded. It's not even ground. Mm. You know how there's ground beef, mm -hmm. there's pulled pork. Yeah, you know. So reçois is to grind. Hmm. Okay. You get it? So I guess that's where the name comes from. Mm -hmm. That's the next thing that we put. So what we're gonna do? So this is how the meal is, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're gonna just let it cook for a little bit and then take it out. Okay. And then put the veggies in, cook the veggies, and then put it back in, as if we're making like a stir fry. Oh, so we have to take so it. So this is the meal. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is how you'd be served the meal. Okay. It'll be with pop or with um, sem. Who would you say Nale Di Piri is? Um, Nale Di Piri is a Tswana American, born and raised in Botswana. My dad is American, so lived in America for a couple of years now, living in Philly with my family, um, aspiring to be a uh, Certified public accountant. That's my goal for life. That's where the money is. <laughs> That's where I'm headed. Uh, Are we done with the um, the pop? No. So remember, we just put the powder. Yeah. On top. Mhm. Mm so we're gonna open it again. Okay. Let me come this me. side. So. All right. Oh wow, it has to be that big. I'm not I'm not supposed to be able to do this at no, this I mean, point. It should just be a because it's heavy. So we need more but the idea is for it not to be too too thick, but it needs to be thick enough. Okay. Ready? Yep. That all. Yeah. Any air pocket that could be there if you need to eliminate that. And the other thing is, back home we have a thing where it's a pot that you know that you cook pop in. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have, have a pot that is suitable for pop. Yeah. I now guess we're using a nonstick pan. I don't know how that works. <sighs> it's working just fine. <laughs> you no, know, it is. It is working just Obviously, it's going to taste just fine, but it's just the. Mm -hmm. You know how we always have norms of certain oh, things yeah. that we just always want to be doing it in that situation. Okay. Way. Do you want to mix more? Yes. Change. No, it's okay. This is not cool. So it's this was cool. just us. No, this was just us staring it. Now we put it on the lowest level. Mm -hmm. We let it cook. Literally 10, 15 minutes of it just being there on the okay. heat. Okay. I'm cutting up some pineapple slices that I'll add into the orange juice. I also have some grape slices that I'll also add. These are just there to add an infusion for the orange juice. And then I'll pour this and enjoy it.
that we're about to eat. Um, we ask that you bless the food that we're about to eat. Thank you in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. How do I eat? You eat it. Yeah. You don't pick up the big portion. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you work it with your fingers so that it's able to be texturized, right? Yeah. And then you take some meat, you put it on there. Mm hmm And then you take some spinach. Put it on there. Mm-hmm. Right? And then 